Hi guys, Colsey, and today I want to talk to you again about the Stream Deck, more specifically an alternative to the Elgato Stream Deck. So, I made a video uh, back in May of 2018 uh, when OBS released their own version of some sort of Stream Deck, basically. It was, uh, it was called the Swabs Remote Control. So it was a way, it was effectively a Stream Deck style panel that you could download on your phone on an app and it gave you multiple buttons that you could program to use with your OBS stream. There's been a little bit of progression in this uh, in this sort of market if you will. So somebody sent me an uh, um, somebody actually commented on my previous video. So TTW uh, commented with a Reddit post called uh, basically called Stream Deck Alternatives for OBS. I went and checked out the Reddit post and there was an alternative that a lot of people were talking about. So I figured why not make another video uh, like the last one I made talking about this new alternative and what I think to it and what's possible with it. So the new alternative is called Touch Portal. As you can see on the screen, I have loaded up their website. This is Touch Portal. So it's very similar to the OBS version, what they the OBS version that they produced. It's a similar thing. Uh, it's an app you download on your phone, you link it to your computer, it's very simple to set up. If you wanna know how to set it up after this, I will put a link in the description where I've made another video, uh, which will go out the same time as this one, which is just a simple how to set it up, get it connected, and make your own little custom buttons. Very simple, if you wanna do that, if you wanna know how to do that, check the link in the description. Anyways, so, one of the problems that I had, not problems, but one of the downsides of the OBS version that they made was that it was purely bound to OBS, which is fair enough because, I mean, they are OBS, they produced it, they want it to work with streaming. So it's very streaming focused. The Elgato Stream Deck, however, uh, you can use it for multiple things. Yes, it is called the Stream Deck and it's, I guess its main priority is to be used for streaming, to be able to have shortcuts. Um, basically there that you can use while you're streaming. Uh, a lot of people do use the Stream Deck, however, for more productive tasks and being able to, you know, open applications, use it for hotkeys and things like that. And the OBS version, the OBS version of the Stream Deck app thing uh, didn't have that, you couldn't do that, it was only OBS related. However, this is where Touch Portal comes in. It has a lot more uh, customization and usability for not only streamers but for people who just want to use it for hotkeys or just quickness while they're being you know doing professional work or just during your workflow basically so this is also uh, on more platforms I'm pretty sure last time with the Streamlabs OBS thing it, it wasn't as multi-platform as this. So this is available on Windows, on Mac OS, on Android, and on iOS. So you can see them on the screen. If you have those, then you're able to use this. So obviously you're gonna have to have an Android or an iPhone or something to install the app if you wanna use it from your phone, but it is also available as a desktop app, which you're gonna need anyway to set it up. But if you, again, if you wanna know more about setting it up, check the link in the description to the other video I made about setting up the touch portal. Anyways, this is free, and yes, there is a full version. The only difference between the two, the free and the full version, obviously the full version means that you're paying for it and it means that you are supporting the people who created it, which is never a bad thing if it's a service or a product that you enjoy. Uh, you get a lot of things for free, but then being able to support them so that they can continue to make it or make better things is always a good thing. So if you like it, I do recommend that you pay for it. But having a free version means that people can check it out. If they don't like it, then they haven't lost any money. Everyone's happy, we're all good. Anyway, the differences between the two are basically with the full version, you can have unlimited pages and custom grids. So with this, I mean like, for example, you can do a lot more things. So yes, there are the, the things you can do with OBS, um, like changing scenes, starting recording, stopping recording, streaming. You can do all of that stuff. But uh, there is also the fact that you can use it to open applications. So it's probably easier if I just show you actually. So if I just go back to touch ball. I have this currently set up. These two are kind of standard. Uh, I guess you can delete them if you want, but 
I'm just gonna leave them there for now. Uh, I created Steam as basically just a button that opens Steam. Now, main, I think the main application for something like this, because you're using it as an alternative to Stream Deck, is you would use it on your phone. Anyway, so I've set up Steam. Basically, all that Steam does is opens the Steam app. It was just a simple way of me showing you that. Anyway, so let's look at the other things you can do. So you can start the application, go to page. Um, oh, I see. So basically, this button would be like a next to, like a next page, and you could have another page of uh, buttons that you could use. Uh, key press, so press the button that you want to be a key combination if the keys are correct. Right, okay, so then we could be like G, I want you to press G. You could make it type backspace. See, there we go. And if you press more keys at once, it does a bunch of them. Anyway, so you could have it for key presses. Uh, for shortcuts, I guess, would be a good one for like being productive. Um, I, you could use it, uh, you could key bind to something in OBS and use it like that. A timer. Okay, so I guess you can, uh, you can like, compound these actions so you could say press the button and then in a certain amount of time it does an action then waits a certain amount of time then does another action that makes sense open url pretty simple that is similar to what the tutorials and the home button do that are here by standard tutorials that you do tutorials that the creators have created um text type text so pretty simple if you uh, press the key it will type whatever text you put in there and it will just put it in. Um, so it's very like self-explanatory. You could use that in a stream chat or just pasting something that you're gonna paste multiple times, I guess, but I don't, you could just use Control V for that. There's probably a lot of functions for it that I can't think of right now. So audio, play audio. So I guess you choose an audio file um, and it will play it and it will then stop it. Well, it will play it and then you can have another button that stops the audio or plays a different audio. That could be useful for lots of different things. Um, streaming specifically Windows functions. So again, these are more like standard Windows functions. Volume up, volume down, mute volume, media. Uh, putting the computer to sleep, shutting down the computer can be keyed to special keys that you can use. And OBS, so you've got scene selection, source selection, start streaming, stop, stop recording, stop recording, toggle recording. I don't know what toggle recording means. Toggle mute volume. Ooh. I scrolled off of it. Uh, set volume, increase and decrease volume. Okay, so a lot of things you can do with it. It's just another alternative that I thought it's worth making a video on. The, somebody commented it in my previous video where I talked about the OBS uh, sort of version of the free Streamlabs app. So I figured this is another one that maybe some people might enjoy more, especially if you're using it for more professional, productive work. So you can use it to open apps and not apps, but programs and applications and use it for more professional uses. Like if you're using Photoshop or if you're editing video, then it might be useful to have these to be able to switch between the different things easier than having to go back to your desktop or to your toolbar or whatever. You can just have your phone sort of next to you and then just be able to beat buttons to change between them or use hotkeys. It's pretty useful. Uh, I quite like it. It's, it's a good thing to have. Like I said, it is completely free if you want to go get it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where you can go download it. Also, you're gonna have to download the, you know, the PC version and then for a version from your app store, whether it's iOS or Android. Um, yeah, you have to download both to then connect them together to get them to work. Um, and if you wanna do that, like I said before, there is a how-to that I created, which will be uh, top link in the description, uh, just to show you how to install it and how to create these things. Very simple though, very, very kind of like, really easy to understand and just do it um, so anyway yeah I, I just think that having these options are good for people because uh, an Elgato stream deck although they are very nice and they look very good and they are very useful they are fairly expensive and not everyone can afford to have something like that but most people if not everyone has a smartphone so being able to have an app that you can pretty much do the same thing with is very useful. So it's for more of those people. And like I said, this is free. There are some small limitations to it, but if you do enjoy it and you do want to support it, then there is a paid version that you can go and get if you want to. So that's up to you. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, if you want to see how to install it, check out the link in the description and watch that video. It's very simple. Uh, if, you, if you can't understand it on your own, then this video is really short. It'll talk you through it pretty simply. So, 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, just a little update I figured I'd make. Um, being as the last video, people seem to enjoy it and find it useful, so maybe people will find this useful too. Anyway, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye! I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not